Are you thinking about buying a brand new cocktail shaker and you can't quite figure out which direction to go? Let's go ahead and start with our cobbler shaker. The pros on this is that it's pretty. It's nice, it's light, it has all the pieces you need to make a cocktail and to strain it out. The cons, however, I think vastly outweigh the pros. If you look very closely on here, you can actually see I took a uh, cutting wheel to it. It was frozen shut and I couldn't get it open and this was a brand new cocktail shaker. So that happens a lot, super frustrating. Now with the Boston shaker, what you have is two pieces, one for building your cocktails and then sealing it and then you shake all the contents in there. You can see that there is a lot more volume in the Boston shaker than the cobbler shaker. It does take a little bit of work to get open. So once this thing seals shut, it's not gonna open unless you go ahead and break the airtight seal that exists around here. So there we have it, some pros and cons of cobbler shaker and Boston shaker. And if it were up to me, I would definitely go with the Boston shaker, but the choice, it really is up to you.